Hi everyone, my name is Emilio and I'm a PhD student in Northeastern University. Today I'm going to talk about our paper titled Climate Down Scaling Using Ynet, a deep convolutional network with skip connections and fusion. It's a joint work with Professor Aru Ganguri and Professor Jennifer D. Image change has great impact on human society in recent years. It's reported that both the frequency and the loss of large climate related disasters in the United States have increased in the last decade. In order to understand the climate change and get better preparation for the climate events and reduce the loss, scientists have built global climate models or DGMs to predict future climate change. But their grid resolution is too coarse to be used in local climate impact analysis. Therefore, people propose a technique called downscaling to get higher resolution climate variables from GCMs. One type of downscaling is called statistical downscaling, which is a data-driven technique that tries to find statistical relationships between GCMs and local observations. Statistical downscaling is very similar to the image super-resolution technique in the computer vision field. If we really got grammar variables in an area as images, they both aim at getting higher resolution images from lower resolution images. However, there are some differences. Firstly, there are multiple channels of unbounded climate variables with different value ranges and more skewed distributions in downscaling. Secondary, there's an additional regression problem besides increasing resolution in downscaling, since the inputs and outputs come from different sources. Thirdly, since climate variables are interactive, we can utilize auxiliary variables to improve performance in downscaling. And lastly, Climate variables often have temporal periodic property. Therefore, we can utilize climatology or historical long-term average as our auxiliary input. Based on the similarities and the differences between statistical downscaling and image superresolution, we proposed a neural network model that adapted from a superresolution method for downscaling to leverage the advanced superresolution technique. The proposed model architecture Ynet has three parts. The first is the encoder decoder part, which consists of the magic conversional and deconversional layers with skip connections to its best features. The second part is the upsampling part, which consists of interpolational and conversional layers to avoid checkable artifacts. And the last part is the fusion part, which combines the output of the second part and the auxiliary variables to get the final output. We compare our method with four other methods who are for image super resolution, which are ESPCN and RedNet, and the other two are for climate downscaling, which are BCSD and DeepSD. This table shows the mean square error for different data sets and three different downscaling methods. Our method outperform other methods in most cases. These figures show the mean at the root error of maximum temperature across the United States. The lighter the color, the smaller the error. We can see that our method has the smallest error in most areas. We also compare the seasonal mean square error of mean precipitation and bias and correlation for different methods. Our method has the smallest error for all boreal seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn and also perform best in most cases for bias and correlation. In conclusion, in this paper, we propose a neural network model in Ynet to downscale climate variables for low resolution GCMs. The proposed network incorporates encoder-decoder structure with skip connections and utilizes auxiliary data to improve downscaling performance. For more detailed information and results, please refer to our paper Climate down scaling using Ynet, a deconvolutional network with skip connections and fusion. And our codes are also available on GitHub. Thank you.